All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. So I've had some people ask me how to do a BIOS flash on NVIDIA graphics cards. I've checked out some people's uh, BIOS flash and they make things very complicated and mess up very a lot. Let's just say a lot. So I'm going to show you the simplest way to do it. And yeah, all you got to do is go duck power up, tech power up, TPU amazing place to go you want to download nvidia nv flash all right nvidia nv flash download that now for what i'm doing here is a gtx 1080 all right 1080 right now i got the xoc bios on the gtx 1080 i'm just gonna flash it over to another xoc bios or i might just flash it back to the original bios we'll see what i do later on here but yeah, that's all you got to do. Make sure you have the BIOS that you want. Main thing you're doing, again, this is not for everybody. You can brick it. And if you don't have like an integrated graphics or know how to fix this, it's it, you're kind of screwed. So don't be doing this if you don't know how to do this. I'm just going to show you how to do it the easy and simplified way. So again, I'm doing GTX 1080. This is the ADU Strix model. I'm put, I have the XOC BIOS, the Extreme BIOS onto it, okay? So there's no power limit whatsoever whatever on it. So it's very good. Uh, yeah, so once you have NV Flash, your BIOS downloaded, what you're going to do is you're going to take that, and again, we're going to check out the downloads here, and you're going to go, okay, well, you got the NV Flash. Well, you got local disk, all right? Your local disk, you go new folder and you're going to make a folder and you're going to call it nv flash simple right nv flash you're going to take your downloads and you're going to put it over to nv flash in your local disk c all right so you got it here nv flash so this right here is nv flash uh, 64 i deleted nv flash 32 because i can give you a little messy so since you're gonna be on 64 bit windows to either 10 or 11 64 bit uh this is nv flash 64 i just made nv flash and deleted the nv flash itself and now we're using nv flash 64. this is the original bios the original bios how you get that is you download tech power up gpu z all right gpu z so here we've got the 1080 you had right here you see that little save bios you click that and you're going to save that file all right and it might flash the screen and whatnot once you have that put that also in that nv flash folder that's in here this nv flash folder all right so that's right there you can save it as gp 104 and that way boom bob's your uncle you have a backup if something goes wrong or you don't like that bios all right simple so one thing that's going to happen here is we're going to have to have a backup that we did. And then these here, one B and Asus are both XOC BIOS for my Asus uh, Strix model. All right. So these are both XOC. I'm on the XOC and what you can do is with tech power up, we'll open that back up here with tech power up here. Boom. Bob's your uncle. You can see what BIOS you're on. This is F8. Okay, so you can see the F8 BIOS, that means this is the XOC BIOS. And how else you can just check that out? Well, you can just open up MSI Afterburner. All right, here's MSI Afterburner. Oh, well, we got uh, we got it disabled. I forgot we got it disabled right now, which you're going to have to do. So we'll just go and do that right now. Show you what we got to do. Device Manager is the next step you want to do in doing this. And you want to disable disable the graphics card that you're using you'll still be able to use it you just gotta disable it for doing this next step after disabling it is command prompt i want to open that as administrator all right administrator open that up as administrator so once you have that opened up as administrator what you're going to want to do is go cd space c whatever you want to call that all right, it's not semicolon. I don't think that's called a semicolon. That's a, a period with a period on top. All right, so there we go. NV Flash. That right there will open up the F NV Flash folder that's in your local disk C. That's what it's doing. See how we have local disk C, NV Flash. That's what it means right there. Boom, that's what we want. Next step we're going to want to do is go NV Flash space dash dash protect off not that hard right nv flash space dash dash protect off 
enter. Let it do its thing. Oh, that was so fast. Said 30 seconds. Was it even 30 seconds? Next step. NV flash space dash six space. Now, since I'm on 1B or Azus, which are both XOC BIOS, I can just do one of them. I like to save it as something simple. So 1B, 1B dot rom now if you save it as a dot rom it's already a dot rom so you're gonna have to do dot rom and that's what i've seen some people do wrong on this is they're saving it as a dot rom if you're saving it as a dot rom it's already a dot rom it's already a rom file it's already a file for that so you have to do dot rom dot rom since i didn't save it as a dot rom it's already 1d dot rom simple and you press enter that's all you gotta do let it do its thing and then you get press y all right, you gotta press Y. So you gotta press Y. Now reboot is required. Now generally this, because you're flashing it, this right here I'm flashing to, as you can see, F8 and F8, same one. So generally you would have to press Y again and a reboot is required to take effect. Simple, right? So what I could do now is go ND flash space dash six space uh gp 104.rom and this right here will make it so i can flash the original bios which i'll do confirm and see how it tells me to do confirm again reboot is required ta-da that's it that's all you got to do for a BIOS flash. Again, make sure you're, you can handle it. Make sure your GPU can handle it. If your GPU is old, I would don't recommend this. I don't recommend this at all. If you don't know what you're doing, you can still mess it up somehow. I don't know how you can mess it up, but you can. That's all you got to do for a BIOS flash. Uh, hopefully this helps out most of the people. If not, shoot me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Uh, as always, don't forget to get her done. Peace.